Hi, this is Jim from MyWaterEarthAndSky.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Brita water filter for your faucet. Um, this guy here is pretty reputable, has a good reputation. It removes uh, chlorine residual, uh, lead, and some other contaminants um, that can sneak by the water treatment in, uh, wherever you get your water from. This guy has a uh, pretty good reputation of doing the job it lasts for about I think it lasts for about a hundred gallons um, and depending on how many people are living in your house um, you you have to exchange it for another cartridge here which are fairly cheap um, the reason I'm, I'm talking to you here is because of there is some complaints about it um, when you use the bypass here uh, that the water turns cloudy and I'll show you What happens if you use the bypass on your normal maintenance, uh, washing your dishes or your hands, and whenever you use the sink, of course, you're not gonna, you're not gonna use the filter, treated filter, unless you're cooking or drinking it. So whenever you use the, the bypass, the water turns cloudy like this, okay? Which is a bit of a mystery to everybody. Um, the first thing I did was I checked uh, the other sources of entry into the house, um, bathrooms, the other kitchen um, and it's not happening there it's only happening here where I have the filter so it, 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 it must be coming from the filter okay so we narrowed it down so what I'm going to do is uh, the first thing I'm going to check is a comparison between the filter and the and the faucet and I showed you basically that's the cloudiness coming out of the bypass the filter looks really good and it's crystal clear like this so we know the filter works but where's this cloudiness coming from so what I did was the first thing I did is see if it was coming out of the filter So I can compare the two, and you can see by this how clear it is. So it, it doesn't happen when it comes through the filter. So I went around to the other parts of the uh, where the water comes into the house, and it's not happening from anywhere except for this point of entry right here. So it tells me um, it has to be related to the filter. Um, again. That's what it looks like after it's treated by the filter. So what I did is I took my sample of the bypass water that's cloudy and I ran my uh, TDS meter through it like so. In normal, under normal conditions, um, I tested my water. It, it runs about somewhere between 135 and 145 parts per million. TDS, and that's what the supply water that comes into our house runs at. Now, with out the filter and with the cloudy water, it's at 131. And I don't know if you can see it, but there it is, right there, 131, which tells me that it's not solids. So that's a good thing. So again, we know that it's coming from around the filter and it's there's no solids involved. Next thing I did is I took my uh, my meter also has a thermometer on it and I took a temperature reading and um, and it's somewhere in the vicinity of 58 degrees and I hope you can see that there and that's telling me the water's cold coming in cold colder than normal now we're at the end of January and uh, it only happens on the bypass so cold water uh, holds more air than warmer water does so what's going to happen here is I'm thinking there's an aerator on the bottom of, of the, the faucet so when you run this faucet, you 
the water, if the water's warmer, you're not going to see this. But because it's going through a new, another aerator, a tighter aerator that they have installed up here, and the water's colder, it's going to hold more air. The air is the cloudy water that you see. And that's the result that I'm finding. It's cold water. And if you want it to go away, or say you're filling an ice cube tray up or something, you can let it sit for a while. And room temperature, it'll, it'll start to come down. It'll clear up. Or eventually, in another month or so, it's going to start to change again. Or m maybe two, depending on, I'm on the East Coast. So it'll eventually go away. But that's what it is. It's not solids. It's, there's nothing wrong with your water. It's basically temperature, colder temperature, and aeration, which is uh, dissolving air or oxygen into your, into, your, into your water. And it turns to a cloudy color, which eventually will go away. There's no reason to panic about it, and there's no default in the product. It's a great product. This is Jim from MyWaterEarthAndSky.com. I'll see you down the road.